everyone. Good morning. Welcome back, all of you that we uh, met yesterday, and most welcome all our new guests that are participating today. My name is uh, Ebba Blitz, and I will co-host this uh, event, the Digital Health Days 2014, together with Donny. My name is Donny Ligones. Uh, I think uh, the most inspiring uh, talk for me personally yesterday was e-patient Dave de Broncart. Uh, what really uh, got me was that his personal involvement, his, uh, the, the facts that he got from uh, various websites uh, actually helped him survive cancer. I think it's fascinating how the empowerment of, of patients can actually help doctors in this collaboration that that can help us survive. We, can, we, we know so much about ourselves and with the facts that we as patients can use, we can do a collaboration together with the professional healthcare givers. And that was truly inspiring to me. What really got you, Donny? Well, I mean, for those who weren't here yesterday, uh, my name is Donny. I work as a technology transfer manager at KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology here in Stockholm. And I spend my days working with ideas and trying to move them into some kind of workable reality. And for me, yesterday was a big eye-opener because it just felt like, okay, it's happening. I mean, last year we talked a lot about what if, and imagine if we can, and, and think of when we will be able to. But yesterday was all about, look, this is what we're doing today, and this is what is happening. So, so for me, it was a, a, a very big eye-opener to see that, okay, it's actually happening now, and now we can move from the technology drive. I mean, every big paradigm shift is always driven by technology. People saying, hey, look what we can do. And somebody goes, well, what do you want to do with that? And then they go, I don't know. Uh, and then suddenly you realize there's a business value and there's a user value. And yesterday we spoke a lot about patient value, the actual putting care back into healthcare. And we spoke a lot about actually business value as well. How do we actually make this into some kind of business, sustainable business? That was my big, my big thing from yesterday. Mm. And health challenges worldwide are huge. People are getting older, which means that they will have to attract more diseases bef before they eventually die. That's obvious. But what we can do now is to actually prolong and raise quality of life for more people through new technology. So what we want to do is really today look into how to improve health for the greatest number of people, of course not all people, but what can we use in, in terms of generic health maybe, and also specialized health, of course, uh, to, uh, to improve health for the greatest many of people uh, in the most efficient and efficacious way through mHealth. So this will be uh, a truly inspiring day uh, and we will get started soon, but just for us to know who are new to the audience today, we would like you to bring out these white little response cards that you have on the table um, and just ask you, who are new? Who is here? We have, we have a question for you so that you can see exactly how the question is framed, uh, posed. I was a participant yesterday. You press A, B, I'm <laughs> new for today. C, don't know, did I miss something? Well, start press now, please. So let's see the results coming up there. I was, yeah, look at that. Almost everybody, and we have some new ones as well. And then <laughs> the 3%, well, you know, just hang in there, bear with us. It will make sense along the day. Don't worry. You know, just, just trust us. We're trained professionals. It's okay. And I would like to see a wave of a hand from someone who was here yesterday. Anyone um, here yesterday? Put your hand up. That should be 85% of you. 85% of you, so... Okay. Uh, 
so here. <laughs> Everybody in the back, nobody in the front. That's Hi. All I'm this. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? I'm Paul Beata, Stockholm Science City. All right. What were your main uh, takeaways from yesterday? Ooh, um, well, definitely Dave de Boroncart. He was really inspiring. Uh, but also the entrepreneurial catwalk. Uh, there are so many great ideas out there and great companies brewing. I think that's really exciting. And that's what you picked up in the tea sections? Yes. Wow, right. great. Uh, actually, th thank you very much. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, that is actually one of the things that is so important during these days. It is not only what happens here, it's just like you said, what happens when you have your breakout sessions. Uh, they will be held in the tea section um, based on the themes of the conferences and, of course, you choose where you want to go. Uh, we will have this morning's plenary sessions in this hall. It's called Victoria Hall. And after lunch, there are the breakout sessions and we meet again for a summary here in Victoria Hall at 4 o'clock, uh, 4 o'clock again. And lunch and breaks is like you learned yesterday out here where you just had a morning coffee. And you will meet uh, partners and startups in the various pods. I would also like to take this opportunity to give a warm thanks to our sponsors, AbbVie and IBM, for making this conference possible. So, okay, now we know that uh, who you are, and it's time for us, uh, because we met so many of you yesterday, so we know what fields you were in. It didn't really change much. Uh, so, let's move over to our first uh, plenary, uh, our first uh, keynote. It's PhD Alain Labrique. Uh, he, he's an associate professor, at Johns Hopkins University, and he let's hear about how the Johns Hopkins University Global's M Health initiative fits into the bigger schemes of things in terms of M Health. We are going from a more Scandinavian focus that we had yesterday to a more global focus. Uh, there are many ways to bridge information gaps and technology can play a very important role in the human condition. Thank you. Here is Alain Labrique.